Hello Curious and welcome back. Today's topic is one that will surely interest many as it talks about one of America's biggest stars. We are talking about Norma Jean, who more commonly has been known as Marilyn Monroe, but more specifically her sister who in a few weeks is going to turn 102. While many were surprised to find out that the iconic actress had a sister and one who is still alive, many had also begun wondering, had she been alive today or got to grow to old age, would she have looked like her sister? What had she recently revealed about her famous sister? This is just the beginning curious, so make sure you stay with us until the very end to find out all about Monroe's last living relative, but before we continue, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, turn on the notifications and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. Marilyn has been in the spotlight for many years, even well after she lost her life, especially since her passing was surrounded by a thousand conspiracy theories. And it might seem that at this point we know everything that we can about her, but did you know that her half-sister is still alive? Her name is Bernice Baker Miracle, who in July this year will celebrate her 102nd birthday. And according to reports, despite her advanced age, she is in very good health. She is Monroe's older sister, daughter of Gladys and John Baker. It has been known that the relationship between her parents was what we would call toxic. In fact, different biographies of the Hollywood star point out that their mother suffered domestic violence during her relationship with the aforementioned John. The couple had also had a son who sadly passed away at the age of 16. And although Marilyn's mother managed to put an end to her stormy marriage, Gladys' happiness was short-lived, as the father kidnapped the children and moved with them to Kentucky. She had stayed in California trying to rebuild her life. One year after the separation, she remarried Martin Wartenson, who was one of the suspected fathers of Marilyn Monroe. But if you want to know more about that, then be sure to check out our previous video by clicking on the link above. But for now, stay with us to find out all about Bernice. In fact, it took many years for the sisters to know each other. As we mentioned before, Bernice is the only close relative of Marilyn's who is still alive. So as you might have gathered, while the two women shared the same mother, they had two different fathers. And surely you know that things weren't easy for Monroe, as she did not have an easy childhood. Since Gladys had once again separated from her husband, she suffered a nervous breakdown and was unable to raise her daughter as a single mother, which had resulted in little Norma spending her childhood moving from orphanage to orphanage to family friends, all the while looking for love and support. It has been assumed that at the time that Marilyn and her mother had reappeared in Bernice's life, it was clear that John Baker had hidden the fact that his children had a loving mother and a half-sister from them. But by 1938, things had taken a different turn. It all started when Gladys sent a letter to her daughter Bernice, telling her about her existence and that of her sister Norma, who was seven years her junior. According to reports, the younger sister visited Bernice in 1944 and they met several times around 1950. Even in Marilyn's later years, it is said that the two saw each other more often. In fact, Baker was the younger sister's greatest support, even on the day of her passing. In 1962, the year that the actress lost her life to the shock of many, it was her sister who handled all matters related to Marilyn's funeral in the state. And even after her passing, her estate continues to generate around $13 million a year. Among the stars that after their passing make more than her are Elvis Presley and Michael Jackson. And since we're on the topic of money, let's talk about her inheritance. As part of it, it went to her half-sister and another part to the caretakers of Monroe's mother in the institution where she had lived since the star did not want her mother to want for anything until the day of her passing. Yet another part went to Marianne Chris, who was her psychoanalyst and who helped to heal the wounds of her past and to overcome the trauma from allegedly ending several pregnancies as well as from her divorces from Joe DiMaggio and Arthur Miller. In addition, there was also talk that she was pregnant at the time that she was seen to be involved with both John and Robert Kennedy. In fact, the portion that was intended for her psychoanalyst went to an institution called Anna Freud Center in London which dedicated itself to the care of children's mental health. Though not having many close people to leave her inheritance to, some of it also went to Lee and Paula Strasberg, who were her teachers in the world of acting. After all, they were the ones who saw her in something more than just a blonde bombshell and had often served as her tutors. But let's look more at her sister, who is her only living close relative. Unlike Marilyn, who had become famous, Bernice Baker Miracle worked in accounting and eventually moved to Florida with her husband and daughter and there she worked at a university in the administrative area. 
In 1994, Bernice and her daughter Mona Ray Miracle had released a book titled My Sister Marilyn, in which she attempted to show their family, but from a more intimate perspective and out of the press access, and thus selling a still unknown side of the actress's family life. The book contains many anecdotes and photos from the family album. As I mentioned before, Norma Jean, for a part of her childhood, had been raised in an orphanage, and in fact, she would tell the press that she had no living relatives. The star made these statements out of a desire to have her privacy respected as much as possible. So you can imagine that at the time, and probably for a while after, her fans had no idea that she in fact had a living sister. Though for now, let's take a step back in time. After living with her mother for a few years, Monroe was sent to live with Gladys' friend, Grace Goddard. It was at this time that Marilyn's first came into contact with her long-lost sister. Bernice had spent her early years with her brother Jackie, her father and her stepmother, although she always had grown up with many questions about her birth mother, since, as far as the then young girl was aware, she had passed away. Bernice had even kept a photo of her on her dresser and it was the only thing that she kept of her. It would even appear that Gladys wanted to deal with her past by forgetting the previous children and the fact she wrote on Monroe's birth certificate that she had no other living children. Both Bernice Baker and Marilyn Monroe had both grown up in homes that were often filled with conflict. After their mother left John, he remarried a stern woman who was much older than he was and had little affection for his children. When Bernice was 19 years old, after marrying her husband, Paris Miracle, her father said to her, I don't know if I should give this to you or not. At first I thought I would never show it to you. Your stepmother and I talked about it. We decided it's your letter. Reflecting on that day, Baker had written that the envelope that was handed to her was already opened and the letter had clearly been read, but it was because of this gesture that she had first learned of her sister. The letter had included an address which she could write to her sister and after this she immediately contacted her sister Norma. With the letter she had included a photograph of herself, so she was sure to have been very happy once she received the letter and a photograph back. Marilyn's letters to her sister were tender and filled with questions about her life in Kentucky. The two sisters kept in touch over the years and as they grew older they felt bad that they had not met sooner. Bernice had recalled the day she met her sister and in her book she wrote, there was no chance of not recognizing her. She was very tall and beautiful and Marilyn was wearing a cobalt blue wool dress and a hat. Talking more about the first meeting, she went on to write, We couldn't take our eyes off each other. We had the same dark blonde hair with a window's peak, the same mouth, but our eyes were different. Mine are brown and Norma Jean's were blue like our mother's. After all that time, they had contacted and she was always there for Marilyn. Of course, the two led totally different lives. While one dealt with fame and success among the Hollywood elite, the other had an undeniably quieter life next to her husband. Unfortunately, the time of Monroe's passing came with her life surrounded by tragedies and divorces. Various biographies of the actress talk about her mental health and the fact that the star may have felt lonely and hurt about everything that once surrounded her life since childhood. And so curious, did you know that Marilyn Monroe has a living sister? Are you a fan of the actress? Have you read Bernice's book about all the unknown family drama? Let us know in the comments below and as always don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Until next time.